And so welcome. It's great to see you all. And, you know, if you feel free, if you'd like to, you know, put your camera on, that's fine. If you'd rather not, that's fine also. I know sometimes some people have, wherever they are, sometimes the Wi-Fi is a little um, dicey. So uh, it's great to see you, especially on a Friday. Thank you so much. Um, my name is Amory Queenie, and I'm uh, the Community Affairs Committee Chair for STC. And I'm here with John Clement, and to my, to my right, I guess, uh, stage left. Uh, <laughs> and John is the STC CAC a Student Outreach Director. And I'm also here with stage right or, or left, Erin Galilee. And she is the SDC head office. She's the director of membership and community relations. So you may have already met her. And we're also pleased here today to um, have doc Dr. Craig Baer. And he is the SDC president and um, a faculty advisor for tech, tech is te Texas Tech. So um, this is going to be fairly informal. And our goal is to introduce ourselves and meet you and, and see how we can help you. And so what we'll start out with is um, we'll just do some introductions and you know, then we'll go into a little bit about how, you know, what our role is with all these initials. I heard someone asking, what is this? <laughs> you know, we're technical writers and we're technically uh, technical professors and we still fall into the trap of uh, acronyms. So um, we'll watch that. And then we'll hear, uh, you know, just from you and we'll have an open discussion. So it'll be uh, very good. So I guess I'll start. Again, I said, my name is Anne-Marie Queenie. I'm uh, the CAC chair for 2020-21. Uh, this position rotates. So probably a two year assignment or one year assignment, depending. I'm also on the STC board for, I was elected this year. So I'm on for two years and I'll be for 2020 to 2022. And uh, it's a very exciting time because I've been an STC member now for I guess over 10 years. And I've really enjoyed being with the communities, mostly with special interest groups and that's a virtual groups. Uh, and so I've, I've been a member, I've been a volunteer, and I've been an officer. So it kind of go the whole gamut, and I've really learned a lot just volunteering. Uh, Career-wise, I've spent most of my time in technical communication with uh, Johnson & Johnson and uh, working with medical devices and uh, just working on the documentation where there's ISO, and uh, the FDA for manufacturing and, and like that. And that was an interesting, it took me to New Jersey where, I'm, where I live right now and where I've spent most of my time. And I got to live in California and uh, Indiana. So uh, it's been interesting. I, I got to the middle, to the West, never made it to the South to live, but <laughs> maybe someday. Uh, so right now I'm back in New Jersey and uh, I have my own business. I decided to just to start out on my own. So I will uh, turn this over to John. Yeah, thanks, Anne-Marie. So, hey everyone, I'm John. And funny how Anne-Marie was mentioning that uh, you've been all over the country. I've been in Florida my whole life. Uh, so I was born, born and raised in Miami. Uh, and more recently, a few years back, uh, started going to University of Central Florida in Orlando for school. And I'm still currently a student there. I'm in my junior year. Uh, right now, I'm situated back home in Miami because things have gone remote, but uh, still taking classes at UCF and involved in the Tech Com Club at the school, Future Technical Communicators. And I recently became an STC volunteer after being an active member with the Florida chapter for about a year now. And I'm excited to work with everybody to just share my experiences having been involved with and leading in the tech comp club in my school, of being an STC student member, and kind of bridging the gap between those two to make this great event possible. And as far as career-wise, I do plan to get involved in technical communication after I graduate. I'm hoping to go to graduate school after 
I'm done with my four years. I graduate in fall 2021, so next year. Uh, but yeah, so far, just making the most of being in school, being in STC, uh, all the opportunities that are available uh, just by linking the two together as a student. Um, yeah, I'm happy to work with you all. Great. Um, let's go to Eric. Erin, you're on mute. Yes. <laughs> Have faith in me. It's okay. <laughs> I, I am gifted in other things besides unmuting myself. But hello, my name is Erin Galilee. I'm the Director of Membership and Community Relations for STC, the Society for Technical Communications. I work out of their headquarter office, which is in Fairfax, Virginia, which is a suburb of Washington, DC. So don't feel bad, John. I am a lifelong resident of the DC area as well. So, <laughs> um, and I have some time on you, but um, it's, I have been an employee of STC since fall of 2016. And I am not a technical writer, but I'm an association person and I've worked in membership since 2003. Um, but this organization has provided me with great opportunities and I've never met a, I've been with four associations and I've, I've never met an association of um, just people who are involved in their group, who uh, I've gotten to know personally, who I've enjoyed working with and I'm excited to get to know um, you all a little bit better uh, and how we can help you um, succeed in your student chapter and in your careers as technical communicators. Great, thank you. And uh, Craig? Sure. Um, I'm Craig Bear. Um, Anne-Marie mentioned a lot of uh, my background already. I'm the current president of STC. Um, I'm also the uh, faculty advisor for the uh, student chapter at Texas Tech University. I've been doing that for 10 years, so it's been great to be able to work with student leaders and um, to help mentor them and to see them succeed and go on. Um, I've been involved at STC at all levels, uh, committee level, um, SIG leadership level, um, and community level as well. So I'm glad to be here today and, and share what uh, I know about uh, working with student uh, chapters. Thank you. And I think, Josh, you had said you needed to leave early, right? Did I get the, okay. Maybe you want to introduce yourself and just tell us, you know, what university you're, you're affiliated with. Yes, thanks. So I am here from MTU, Michigan Tech. I'm the vice president of the STC club here. I'm also the president of the Veterans Club because I was in the army for a bit, army guard. And I'm actually Canadian. So there's a few things about me that make me different. Um, I did mechanics and I studied nanotechnology in Washington in Seattle for three years. And uh, I thought I was gonna become a chemist, but like some people I'm learning, like many people, I moved from a different department. Uh, I moved into forestry and then into STC. I found it was a really great fit for me. I've always been a writer and now I can use what I really like to do for a job instead of just in my free time. Um, ask the people that know me. I literally read the news for six to eight hours sometimes and like copy paste things, keep records. Like I, I really need to be a writer so that I can do this for money. Okay, that's great, thank you. And you know, um, we have, we have uh, if you ever go back to Canada, we have STC Canadian chapters. Uh, we'd like you to stay here, but you know, just saying branching out. And I think Erin, we're recording this, right? Yes, we are. Okay. We're recording it. So. so when you need to leave, uh, or if anyone needs to leave early, um, we'll have the recording for you. And so why Thank don't you. we, again, short, nice welcome. Uh, how about, I think, uh, Andrew or Andy? Want to start next? Sure. Uh, so I think that's me. So <laughs> I'm Andy Fiss. I'm an assistant professor of technical and professional communication at Michigan Tech. Um, so I've been here for six years. I've been the advisor to the STC student chapter that whole time. Um, and then this year, I've also, um, I'm now the, the director of the, the scientific and technical communication major. So we have a, a particular STC major here. Uh, we, we like to say that the, 
the two don't have to be connected. It's fine to be a major and not be part of the student chapter or vice versa. But uh, also there are a lot of, um, there are a lot of enthusiastic students who are involved in both. And that's really nice too. Thank you very much. Uh, let's go to Taylor. Hi, I'm Taylor Schubert. I'm a grad student in tech comm at the Missouri University of Science and Technology. And I actually just joined STC only a few weeks ago as the secretary uh, of this chapter. So I am still very much getting my feet wet, but um, given my field and what I plan to do uh, once I graduate, I think this would be a wonderful organization to, uh, to have as my background and, and to stay in as well. Um, just for networking opportunities, as well as just really getting to know more about the field with people that have been in this uh, group for a while. So I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens. Okay, great. Yeah, and, and you bring up a good point that not to do a hard sell here, but I think I think Kylie knows and maybe Catherine that um, I see some familiar faces here with some familiar names that you can start the student chapter and just like John had mentioned too, you just segue into the STC chapters. So if you find yourself graduating and going across country or to another state or staying in the state, you'll be able to continue your networking and your support and grow in your career. So that's the nice part. Welcome. Uh, how about, let's see, Catherine. Yeah, I am. Um... Catherine Meeks. I am a PhD student at George Mason University in Fairfax, Virginia. Um, so neighbors with uh, Aaron. Um, I am the vice president of our student chapter and our chapter kind of had a lull for a little bit and now we are just trying to build it back up again. Um, and I believe our president is also here, uh, Tammy. So she'll probably introduce herself in a few minutes, but I'm glad to be here. And yeah, I'm a PhD student in writing and rhetoric and um, I, sp I am specifically working in professional and technical writing, so. Well, nice to have you. And so um, let's go to Kylie, who, who I saw two days ago with the virtual, <laughs> our virtual meetup. And by the way, Anything we do with the STC communities, you're welcome to as student chapters. Thank you. Well, my name is Kylie Jacobson. I am an assistant professor of writing at Grand Valley State University in Grand Rapids, Michigan. I am a member of the Michigan Great Lakes chapter, but I was also involved with the Texas Tech student chapter. So it's nice to hear Craig on the uh, line here. Um, but we currently don't have an STC chapter at the university I'm at right now. So I'm looking to see how we can maybe make some connections or um, link up with other chapters that are active um, and maybe bring some students along remotely. Okay, hey, thank you. Um, Mart Martier, am I pronouncing that correctly? Uh, okay, hang on. Uh, it's Meritor. Meritor, oh, okay. Yeah, you're good. Uh, I am the current president for the STC chapter in Rolla, Missouri, so Missouri s and uh, We're kind of at a lull with our attendance right now. We just kind of have our secretary, which is Taylor, who's here, and then our vice president and secretary and or treasurer, and that's kind of it right now. Uh, but I've been a member for the Rolla chapter for about four and a half years now. I was a member, then I was vice president, and then I got promoted to president. So we're kind of thinking of ways how to improve the chapter um, before I graduate next spring. So, and I'm doing my master's, so. <laughs> oh, so you've got a lot of, a lot of uh, things going on at one time. <laughs> Very busy. Okay, yeah. well, great. Well, good luck. And, and thanks for, I hear a lot of, several people saying they want to re reinvigorate their chapter. That sounds great. And John's here and we're all here to help. Um, and JD. Our guest. Hello. Yes, uh, I'm JD Applin. I've uh, been at UCF for quite a while. I've been in charge of the student club that that John talked about earlier. John Clement. It's called the Future Technical Communicators, and we've had it in place since 2002. Um, it was originally an idea that came about by a couple of students, and they asked me to be the faculty sponsor. And always the best ideas come from students. Um, 
uh, you know, I thought it was a good idea and I stayed with it. And it's always been a, a pretty steady unit of students who work their way through their undergraduate years, become members of future technical communicators, become officers like John. And we have a very strong connection with the local STC um, chapter, uh, the Central Florida, the Florida chapter. Uh, it's one of the last chapters that, that exists in Florida. Um, so many of them have gone away. Um, so we have a very strong connection between the Society of Technical Communicators in the Central Florida region um, and our student club. And via that connection, we use we have a mentoring program that a lot of our students take part in. And that's like, that, that I think has been our most successful um, option or think the students could, could take advantage of being members of the student organization of FTC. So I'll stop right there, but I've been doing it for a long time. And I've been working with John for a couple of years and he's really great, he's really a good leader. Okay, well, I'm glad you're here, welcome. And I, I think we had, is it Tamara or Tammy? I don't know if you, which you go by. I, I think you're here. Hi. Uh, yes, I'm here. Um, yeah, and it's, well, it's Tamara, but usually Tammy, um, but either one is acceptable. It's fine. Um, I am, as Catherine mentioned earlier, uh, the president of the George Mason student chapter um, at STC. Um, I'm currently in the graduate program and um, should be wrapping up in a, like a year or two. Um, I'm also a proposal writer, um, which I um, made a connection with at, the, at George Mason. Um, so I'm looking to kind of grow STC with Catherine's amazing help, because um, there was a bit of a, a lull period. Um, we're, we're also facing some difficulties with like just trying to figure out what we can do in the virtual world um, to make that work. Um, so looking for ideas there as well um, to engage some more of the students in the, the student body to, to gain some more members because um, we pretty much just have the officers who are, who are active right now and we'd like to get some more um, people involved because I started off um, just as like a member uh, a year or two ago and then got promoted straight to president so to fill in a, a, a after our last president graduated um, and then we basically didn't have any officers left <laughs> um, so yeah it's great to hear from everybody and connect and hear what the kind of ideas there are great and uh and thank you for stepping up and right now i'm just gonna the sun has decided finally to come out in new jersey today so i'm gonna close my blinds a little it is there that's better it has been uh gray all day and now the sun is shining um so great and like i said tammy th thanks for for stepping up because i think a lot of times a lot of us find ourselves in that position and you know there's a need and you you want to help so that's great you know don't wait that's i think aaron and and craig and john would probably or any andy and others would probably jd would probably say the same thing don't wait you know Go in, there's always help, especially with STC. We're here to help everyone. You're never, no tech writer, communicator left behind. Um, now, is there anybody else that is, uh, let's see, we just have someone, Martha is gonna be entering. Is there anyone else that's not on camera that would like to introduce themselves? I can introduce myself. Okay. Uh, so I'm Juliana Hamaki. Uh, I go to Michigan Tech. I'm a third year STC major. Uh, I am currently the president of our student chapter on campus. And I guess my goal here was just to learn more, kind of like everyone, we're in a little bit of a lull of attendance. So learning how to build the organization and what we can include to draw people in would be great to know. Okay, sounds good. It sounds like a theme here. So, um, you know, we could probably all help each other. And I think, was Martha, did she just come in? I thought I saw. Yes, okay. I guess that, yeah. So um, Martha, uh, I'm at SNT, Missouri SNT. I'm the treasurer for the student chapter. Nice meeting you. Welcome. And Thank we were you. just 
and we are Martha. We uh, we are recording this session, so um, you'll be everyone will be able to hear the recording, so you can catch up on um, the people that previously introduced themselves. Is there anybody else that we've we've missed? Okay, great. We have a nice uh, nice turnout. We didn't quite know what was going, you know, what's going on midterms and people, like you said, are virtual and. Um, so there's a lot of challenges. So we do appreciate you coming. That means you're, you're very um, serious about this and that's great. So uh, Aaron, why don't we go to this next slide? And like I said, uh, we talked about this a bit, but we're here to help. And some of this may sound, I, I think, uh, some of you may already know about some of these uh, services and benefits but we're going to just describe them. So if we are redundant for those of you who already have know a little bit more, have more knowledge of STC, we apologize, but we want to bring the people that are brand new up, up to uh, speed here. So we'll start with Aaron. And so we'll kind of start general and then we'll, we'll go in more specifics. So we'll start with STC. Hello, everybody. Uh, again, my name is Erin Galilee, and I'm the membership director of, well, I'm director of membership and community relations at STC, and I am here for you. So just so you know that if anybody has, I, um, if anybody has ever contacted STC, I'm probably the one that you spoke to on the phone or emailed to our general box. I'm the one who's responded back. So I am on the other end of any correspondence that you have, and I am here to answer any questions or offer any support. Um, myself, Anne-Marie, and John are definitely here to help you with um, your experiences with your student chapters, and you can contact any of the three of us if you're having questions or experiences, and we'll all, we all work together very intimately, so your answers will get, your questions will be answered pretty quickly. But just for a moment, I just wanted to um, briefly talk about STC as a whole, because I know many of you have been a part of STC for many years. Um, our members, um, but some of you may be new, um, new as members or not members as of yet. And so I just wanted to let you know just what STC provides and the main areas of where you can plug in and just some opportunities that you can do as students and just some stats just to let you know of who we are and how we can help. So the STC is of course the Society for Technical Communication and we're the largest association for um, promoting the interests of TechCom. So we have about 4,000 professionals in all walks of their careers from students all the way up to retirees. And I know sometimes with um, different, uh, different groups of membership categories, are we alone? You know, how many are there? But students and new professionals, and the way we define our new professionals are ones who are either newly graduated or those who are in their first couple of years of their career make up about 20% of our membership. So we certainly do love our students and those who are newly graduated and starting their careers and we are looking for ways to invest in you. So I'm very excited about these meetings, this meetup and our future ones that we will have, as well as I know Amory and John are too, um, just so we can learn from each other of, of how we can help each other, how we can help you with your membership, how what kind of benefits you're looking for and how we can provide those services to help you with membership growth and retention, which we're also working on in STC as a whole. So some of the main things that we offer are certification, professional education, which is, makes up our webinars and our online courses. We offer current industry news. We have a magazine, we have a journal, and then we have um, networking online with social media, you know, our main aspects of Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn. We have a brand new Slack channel that you can connect to, just to connect to members. And then of course our notebook blog, where we just put pertinent news of the association and the industry. So for those who aren't yet connected to us in our social media, I'd recommend going ahead and doing that. Uh, a lot of links are through our website, um, but I can also help with that if anybody has any questions. And through our, we also offer a big aspect with networking. And Amory touched on it a little bit, and you are a part of it, being a student chapter, but we do have student and professional chapters, and also our SIGs, which are our special interest groups, which are a way that you can plug in with other professionals um, geographically or with a specific topic of interest. So we have 38 professional chapters across US and Canada. So um, most of the time, if you're 
in the, uh, most regions of the country, there's one close to you. And with COVID, it's kind of a blessing in disguise that a lot of the in-person um, programming that they did has gone virtually. So you'll be able to connect to one of our chapters in that way. And they've kept going through this time and have strengthened their programming to accommodate for that. So um, we encourage you to look at those. Um, just as a way to expand your um, networking and um, your connection to other tech comm professionals as you move forward as a student and through your professional career as you graduate. We also have special interest groups that you can plug into, um, which range in a very uh, myriad of topics. We have 12 and one that you, you are eligible to join free as a student member is an academic, one that is connection to any student and anybody who works in academia, it's a good place to be able to network with just other people who are students like yourselves or who are in the academic um, environment for those of you who are faculty and staff. So just as a, another avenue of networking with each other and um, to be able to make those connections. So as a student member, just so you know, you do have access, since we are a member-based organization and to be a part of a student chapter, we ask that you become a member of STC where you get all these benefits and resources available to you and you receive you know, a free student chapter, a free professional chapter, the academic SIG, and then one more additional professional SIG. So we want you to have those opportunities so you can make those connections. And if you have any questions, you can always ask. Some other just neat things that we have that students can plug into is our student scholarship program. We have volunteer opportunities at our summit where you can attend our summit for free for volunteering some hours with us. We also have just in general, a mentor board, a job bank. So there's lots of ways that you can plug in and we have benefits and offerings, but we're also looking to hear from you of what more that you need and how we can support you um, with other benefits and, and other resources that we can offer. And that's something that we're excited to find out and work with you to discover what those are and to develop them and for be able to provide those for you and future students that come through our doors. Um, so I guess um, in conclusion, I just wanted to say that we're, we're definitely here for you. We're so excited to meet you. We're so excited to have this meet and greet. And I'm looking forward to this next year. Um, I know just in general, myself and I work with John Clement on another group called the Membership Marketing Committee, and we're looking for opportunities just like this so we can make those connections to members to really support you where you are and um, so we can all grow together. So thank you all for coming and I look forward to talking to each of you soon. If you need to get in touch with me, the final slide will give some contact information, but you can always reach me at membership at stc.org. Thanks guys. Thanks, Erin. And I could say, um, she's too modest to say it, but she's super. You ask her a question, she has all the answers. And now I'm gonna put her on the spot. Now you're gonna say, okay, I gotta find a question that Erin Galilee does not know. But no, she's great uh, anytime. You know, she'll, she'll investigate for you, research any questions you have. So she's definitely a, a treasure and a resource. So there's STC. It's the general, right? The, the general topic. And so now I'm going to go. And by the way, I did look at the chat to, to make sure if, if there was anything, um, their questions or whatnot. So we're fine with the chat. Um, so now I'm going to deep, uh, drill down a little deeper. So we've got STC. We've got the foundation. Right. And so now we have the Community Affairs Committee, which I'm the chair of. And there's about eight of us, all volunteers, by the way. I mean, I should mention that we are we are not I'm not paid. John's not paid. Um, our colleagues on the, on the CAC are uh, are not paid. So we do this because we really believe in STC. And um, like I said, it's helped me tremendously and I think it will help others. So what do we do? Who are we? Besides another initials, uh, we're an STC committee that basically supports your communities. And by communities, I mean your student chapters, your professional chapters, and your uh, special interest groups, which are virtual groups. So like there's technical top, like Aaron said, they're based on topics. It could be technical editing, policies and procedures, um, accessibility, um, all sorts of topics. And we also act as a liaison to the STC board. So if there's anything that changes, then you know we communicate that with to the communities or if you have some questions. 
So mostly we have several services. And I think that, I'm just looking here at the chat. I thought I saw a question. Yes, Greg concurs she, um, that Erin is a great resource. <laughs> This year, I basically our team has two goals. And so we can say our first goal is to make your job easier, right? Make community leaders' jobs easier. And so how do we do that? Well, we have uh, monthly webinars. So Aaron had mentioned that there are professional educational webinars on technical editing topics, but the top the webinars we have are to help you. Um, manage your chapter, help you become good leaders. So if you're looking for things like style guides and accessibility and, and the ins and outs of TechCom, you go to the SDC webinars. If you're looking for, hey, how do I run this chapter? Uh, we Recently, we just had a webinar on um, budgeting. Now, not all chapters need budgeting, it's, uh, but some do. So that's an example that we would have something to help you. Uh, the webinars are free, so and most are recorded. And to register, you would just go to, uh, on the STC website, the Member Center tab, and see Leadership Program, or on our CAC website, which we have the link to at the end. And we also have recordings, and they go back a few years. So there's there might be a topic that you're interested in, maybe how to how to increase your membership, or you know how how to find that next president. I think I think it was Tamara or Tamara, Tammy that just said, "Well, they needed somebody, so here I am." You know, <laughs> maybe you're going to say, "Okay, I got to find somebody." Um, so we'll have webinars on that. So it's, it's good to check out the, the things that were already reported because they may help you. And we also have an annual leadership program that's at the summit, which is our annual conference. And last year, because of the necessity for COVID, we had a virtual version. And this year, we, regardless of the arrangement, we are gonna have a virtual program too. And you're welcome to that. And that's interesting because you're gonna hear from uh, community leaders and the innovative things they've done. So they'll find a good way, like someone is using LinkedIn Sales Navigator to increase their membership and different things like that. Uh, let's see, we have resources, and I mentioned that, but we also have handouts, slides, best practices. So if you're interested, just definitely check out the website. And we also have a, a CAC monthly newsletter and for that, we provide updates about events. So if we're having a webinar or if there's something related to honors, we had mentioned honors and awards, uh, you'll, we'll uh, post that. And it's important that you be on that contact list. We use MailChimp. So uh, at the end of this session, if you wanna email me, and I've got my email at the end, with, with the uh, contact information, I'll make sure that you're on the, mail, the MailChimp distribution list. And it's important to have that, to be on there, because um, in, in addition to the newsletter, there's a lot of things we may send out in between, like if STC is making a special announcement or whatever. So you definitely wanna be involved with that and in the loop. And so then the second, uh, goal for the year. It was, we had, we were easy, we had two goals. Uh, facilitate a sense of community. And I think we're all here, right? This is a community. You're all in a community. Uh, and we all know it, its importance for that. You know, you can belong to a lot of different things and, uh, you know, have, be a solo member and that's fine. But sometimes you could really uh, just have so much more value as a community. You can network, find, have, I have friends that I see once a year um, and uh, it's, it's great at the, at, the, uh, at the summit. So we do have networking and social events. 
just like right now, to get people interested. You may meet somebody here today and say, you know what? They have the same issue that I have. I think I'm gonna contact them and see if we can work together. And that's the whole thing. You're not an island. So you may be geographically separated, but don't think that you can't reach out to fellow vice presidents or another treasurer. And this is the whole purpose of this too, is to, is to meet people and to see if you can uh, find some value in that. And then the last thing, of course, and I think it kind of just sums it all up, is outreach. So we're here for you, um, whether it's through education, whether you just have a question and you want to email me, uh, or you want to email John or Aaron, that, uh, that's available to you, okay? So with that, with the outreach, let's just drill down a little deeper now and go to the student outreach director that's assigned especially for student chapters. John? Yeah, thanks, Anne-Marie. So needless to say, there are a lot of different resources that STC and the CAC offer. And my role and my goal to all of you this, uh, this school year, this semester, really any time into the future is just to be able to help you find those resources, identify what your chapter might need to grow and succeed. Uh, and for me as myself to be a resource, um, being able to share my own experience in, uh, in my tech comm club and just in STC to be able to help you flourish. And I think that's something that, well, it's something I'm definitely happy to bring to the table because like, it's really encouraging to just be able to work together work together with all of you to just see these chapters grow. Uh, because once once the ball gets rolling, it's really no turning back from there. And I see that as a trend so far in this session that, and it's something that my club has as well, just revitalizing the whole club, revitalizing that experience, making sure that students get in and also get engaged. Um, I wanna be able to just be there for both sides of that. And what I can offer is, like I said, my own experiences, but in specific, just things that STC offers, that the CAC offers, um, ideas for programs that could be run, or uh, just help starting programs that are already established and you might want to use for your own, like the mentoring program that we've mentioned before. Um, STC Florida partners with the student club at UCF to run that mentoring program, and it's a great way to get students not just, not just in the door, but just with the club for a long period of time and getting something substantial out of it. Um, so just being able to get students there and give them things that they want, and even as an officer to just find resources that will help you as an officer, as a tech writer that you can share with students. Um, that's my goal, to be able to just be a resource for you for all of that. Um, so really I'll just be the, I want to be there to help all of your communities grow. Uh, whatever issue or form they may have. And like Aaron and Anne-Marie said, we're all tightly knit together as a team to help you out. And I'm especially excited to be able to just be with, be there not just as, uh, not just as someone from STC or FTC, but as a fellow student myself and share, you know, what I, what even I think a student club could use or an STC student chapter could use to flourish. And yeah, just, uh, I want to also share, uh, you can always ask me any question about uh, my own experiences in STC, FTC, and so on and so forth. Um, because over the past year or two, I've been able to just be really involved in the chapters and identify a lot of opportunities that are um, not only attractive to, to not only attractive to students, but just really helpful for them. Um, like the aforementioned mentoring program, that's one of them. But also there are a lot more like the STC student scholarship, um, there is also just programs that you can run. For example, SDC Florida partners with the student club to run an annual event, um, things like that. And the Sigma Tau Chi Honor Society, uh, there's a scholarship opportunity, the Melissa Pellegrin Memorial Scholarship. Uh, but I, I could go on forever because SDC just has an abundance of things that we should just be delighted to share for tech comp students, which is a fantastic field, a growing field, one that we should always just be proud to be in. And I myself, having been 
um, a recipient of a few of those and just experienced in a few of those programs. Um, I just want to be that connection, just that human connection that you can always ask a question to or ask advice on if you want to run a program or uh, reach out to students, to give them opportunities, so on and so forth. Um, but one opportunity I did want to mention that you know, is good to highlight to students actually coming up in the near future is the Sigma Tau Chi Honor Society, which I just mentioned. So, Aaron, excuse me, and I just, I'm sorry to interject. Erin, uh, if you want to switch the slide, because that's what um, is going to bear. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is. So Sigma Tau Chi Honor Society is one of those opportunities I mentioned. And I was, I was a recipient of it earlier this year. And it is uh, it's just an honor to be in it because it really showcases and makes you strive toward being an active SDC member and really just prolific student and uh, technical communication studies. And just being able to do that, having to like there are things like putting it on a resume, but also just being recognized in SDC, being able to just be part of that community, be further involved. Uh, at the end of the day, it's just an honor to be in it. And um, any anybody who's an SDC student member is encouraged to apply because the due date is the 30th of November. So exactly a month from now. And uh, it's something that as officers, as students, you all should apply for, but also in a student chapter, just put it out there to students. Like if you become a member of FTC Florida, uh, I keep saying Florida because <laughs> that's my chapter, uh, just become a member of the FTC student chapter, this is something you can go for, or this is an example of one of the many things you can have. Uh, a great honor, great resume item. It opens the door to a lot of other things, including this recognition opportunities, getting to know people, networking, uh, just so much that I can open the door for. And, that's just one of many opportunities, which I'm happy to have been a part of. Um, but it's something I also wanted to encourage all of you to really just make the motion, make the initiative to um, look into or to share. Um, yeah, definitely look into the Sigma Tech High Honor Society, which, as I said, is a month from today, the due date. Um, and all the information is there. You can always check back on the information we distribute afterward. Um, I just wanted to share that. But all in all, just to Kind of close out my part. I'm happy to be a connection to all of you to help your student chapters flourish. Uh, to just connect with and talk to all of you to see how I can help in any way or what resources I can give. Thank you. And uh, yeah, John is just being modest, but that is quite an honor. And so um, it's just it's just really you know I think aspirational to say okay, you actually now know someone who is who is an, an award an honoree here. And I, I believe it's mentioned in the, uh, it was mentioned at the virtual summit, wasn't it? I believe you were awarded. So it, you are recognized in front of the full membership of, uh, of STC. So it is quite an honor. And, you know, there is an application and, uh, and I agree with John, you know, encourage you to, uh, to check this out and see if this is something you'd want to pursue. And uh, we'll go to the next slide. And this is for uh, Craig. Thanks, Anne Marie. So I won't say a whole lot, but I know we've got some other faculty advisors in the room who, and a lot of this is from experience, but um, faculty advisors are really, you know, the continuity piece for student chapters because, as we know, a lot of student leadership will rotate in and rotate out. and um, go on to graduate and, and, you know, bigger and better things. So um, a lot of times, uh, you know, we're helping provide uh, guidance on procedures, um, you know, the milestones that we have to hit every year, like filing a budget. And um, if you decide to um, submit an application for an award for your community and helping out with that, um, helping out with the, the 990 filing for the chapter and um, all kinds of other things. Um, mainly our role is, is to provide oversight, helping plan, um, helping with uh, issues of fiscal responsibility, you know, spending. And um, a lot of times if you have an account, um, you know, of monies uh, for your chapter, you're having to help the treasurer with, with uh, managing that as well. 
Um, a lot of times the advisor, there's some onboarding that's going on. Um, our student leadership has been really great about um, helping onboard and helping uh, being available um, even after they graduate the next uh, um, year's uh, set of executive committee officers. So they're, um, you know, they help a lot with that a lot too, but um, advisors do help with that, that onboarding process. Uh, mentoring, um, you know, helping students uh, uh, think about higher leadership positions at STC when they graduate. You know, maybe they go on to become um, officers in uh, other chapters that they move on to, or even, you know, in the case of, um, you know, some start their own student chapters uh, if they go on to teach. Um, also, the faculty advisor is a great liaison to STC. A lot of times student officers, even though they might have been members before, or some of them might be brand new, um, they may not know how to contact someone in, you know, the parent organization for uh, questions on membership or um, how to run a community report uh, to find out who your active list of members are, things like that. And so a lot of times we can help with that uh, function as well. And I'll also mention one other thing. Um, Sally Henschel and I wrote an uh, article for Intercom back in 2013. I think Emory was mentioning uh, post posting it on the CAC website. But it's all about um, uh, how to run a successful student chapter. It's called STC Student Membership Challenges, um, uh, Opportunities, and Benefits. So if you want to learn um, you know, a little bit about what are some techniques for revitalizing a chapter, how to grow a chapter, uh, how to get people more involved, how to even start a student chapter. We've got a documented process in there that we've uh, researched and you know, it's a seven step process, how to get a student chapter going. So um, while the faculty advisor really isn't making the decisions, you know, the, the officers tend to uh, you know, be in charge of programming and um, you know, all of those kinds of things. You know, we kind of help steer the ship, uh, kind of help them with ideas and um, you know, with some of the, the procedural and logistical kinds of things. So uh, a good faculty uh, advisor that's very engaged uh, is a huge asset to a student chapter. They can really help um, that as well. But without the students, without, you know, very dedicated, um, you know, motivated, highly engaged students, you know, that, that piece is just as important too. So, you know, it's, it's a two uh, two-piece kind of a thing where you need to have an engaged advisor and you need to have an engaged group of students working together. And I think that's really what helps chapters be uh, very successful. You know, a lot of students will come up with great ideas that we hadn't even thought about for, you know, new programming or for new uh, kinds of uh, events, uh, which is great because you always get, you know, to hear fresh ideas uh, uh, of different kinds of ways to get students involved. So, it's really been a rewarding experience um, working with the student chapters, I have to say. If you do have any questions about, um, you know, the role of the faculty advisor or about starting a student chapter, I'm happy to answer them. I think my contact information might be on the last slide, I'm not sure, but, um, or you can certainly reach out to Anne-Marie, John, or Aaron, who are also great, you know, references for anything about student chapters. Okay, thank you, Craig. Uh, so could I could I add to some of the things, Craig? Sure. Um, I, I, like, like Craig, we, we had a conference call a couple of years ago uh, with some of the faculty advisors at, at Mercer and Texas Tech and UCF. And so I know Craig's work well uh, in this regard. Um, what Craig said is, is right. You know, we bring things together, we provide continuity, we fill in those weird, strange holes. That we have the tacit knowledge is about you know, what it takes to just do the paperwork at a university so you can actually have a student club. Um, once a year, I have to secure a room so we can have the local SCC professionals come to UCF and talk to our students. But once the club gets going, I think you know, um, a good faculty advisor should stand back and let, let the club do what they want to do. And I guess the one thing that I, say the most other than show them how to do the basic paperwork that is involved sometimes that can be overwhelming and at a big university rather ridiculous at times um, but we still have to do it is do fewer things do them well don't do a bunch of little things where only three people show up have three or four meetings a year four or five meetings a year that actually do something of great interest that are well planned um, and if possible, try to establish a mentoring program. And that mentoring program can be 
as it so is, so as it is so often the case here at UCF is one in which our students who are in FTC, which is the student STC club on our campus, um, so often those students go out and get jobs at Lockheed Martin or or Disney or some of the other local large companies that hire our students, and then we get them to come back and help our students, tell them what it's like to be two or three or four years out, what it is to get a first job, to begin mentoring those students. And the thing is, is once you get a good mentoring program going in a culture where the students who've been in the student club go on, get jobs and come back and keep helping the students who are just becoming sophomores, juniors and seniors, um, that's a very good way of understanding the continuity of of leadership in, in your club. So anyway, I'll stop now, but um, if you have any questions, I'll put my email on the um, on the chat too, and you can ask me any questions if you have it or or, or ask John and John can, can get back to me. So thank you. Yeah, thanks, JD. That's, those are some great points. I was thinking about mentorship too. One of the big things is helping students sort of get that mindset of succession planning, you know, for their successors. I always tell them once you win the election, congratulations, now start recruiting your successors, <laughs> you know, uh, start bringing other people into the fold and getting them involved. And that's, that's the key to keep that ball rolling from year to year too. So. Well, thank you. Those were some very good points. And I, I think you're also it's very valid to say, you know, choose quality over quantity and, you know, because everyone has limited time and, you know, you've got a full academic schedule, maybe you're working also and doing other things. And so um, you want to, time is just like money, you know, it's a, it's a resource. So no, it's a good point. Thank, thank you for, uh, for telling, for input. Okay, so we'll go to the next slide. And this is just some of the contact information that I mentioned. And again, I just remind you that, you know, we probably, because I heard a lot of new officers here, we probably don't have uh, your, your email or contact information. So I think maybe the best thing to do, because I know Aaron keeps track of that also, maybe email Aaron, if you could please, and then see a copy John, because he's gonna be your main contact. And this, um, if you could copy me, because I, I keep a, an updated uh, contact list also. And so then we would have that. So then we would have the information. And um, I've got to see if um, once we get your contact information that we'll send you the article that, that Craig was mentioning, we'll, uh, we'll send that to you. So now uh, you've heard us talk <laughs> enough. And uh, are there any questions? And I think uh, maybe John had one to start with, and then we'll just open it up for discussion as long as you want to uh, stay. Hey, yeah, let's start oh. with John. Yeah, I was just gonna say I'm open to any questions, uh, including anything specific about student chapters. Um, whether now or by email, anytime, my contact information is there. Um, but um, Dr. Offlin did bring up a, a good point about kind of like things to go for or to prioritize, uh, just having, uh, making sure there are some well-developed events. And also, uh, if you can, a program that's just attractive to maintain membership. Um, it's that relationship between uh, just getting members through the door and then keeping them with something that will be like has quality to them. Um, so that's like, once you get the members, it's really like making sure that next step because you can always get some that show up for only one meeting because they get what they want and then leave. Uh, you wanna be sure that they stay in there uh, and most optimally get membership and then stay because uh, you continually output great things to them. Because it's one thing to just have you know, like a general meeting once in a while where it's just discussion. It's another thing where maybe you bring in a guest speaker or you promote the program that you want to put out, like a mentoring program, 
or also like was mentioned earlier, maybe bringing in some professionals from the local chapter that students can meet and network with. Um, so having a few key things and then expanding from there, I'd say that's a good framework, but just something I was uh, hearing throughout the discussion that I wanted to put out. Put out. But if anybody has any questions about uh, chap running a chapter or help with their own chapter, uh, I'd be happy to help and floor is open. Okay. And then also, John, I think you we were discussing the question of uh, contacting, like, I guess you were going to ask the group, did they like, uh, like having an informal like this, maybe a monthly session where everybody can ask questions or, you know, everybody's um, semesters are different. Is it every other month? So yeah, what, what sort of, I'd like to hear from you, what kind of frequency or do you like this format? Would you like to see more of it with John? Maybe with different topics? I'll leave, open that up. Yeah, and thanks for reminding me because yeah, I want to be able to uh, connect with all of you more. Uh, and just so we can talk about maybe monthly, every other month and so on and so forth, what kind of format we could do um, just the way we can connect. Uh, it'd be interesting to hear your opinion. Yes, no one. Um, <laughs> no, don't be shy. Uh, well, you know, if it's something you need to consider, consider. You know, contact yeah. us by email afterwards, it's no problem. Yeah, I was just gonna say if it's time to think about it, but you know, just think about, we have this and even the days of the week, the time, uh, this seemed to be good. So yeah, just think about, um, would you like something once a semester just to get together and have issues and have questions and, and have a, some topics? or is emails the best or whatever. So yeah, so just put that into consideration. Yeah, or uh, yeah, I do think those once in a while meetings would be good to kind of catch up with everybody, share ideas. But I think outside from just me being a resource, it'd be good to, for everybody to share amongst each other too, how their chapter is proceeding and just updates, uh, get encouragement and so on. So what I was thinking so far, kind of a good format would be maybe twice per semester or every other month, we can have a meeting kind of like this uh, between any student chapter leader, the faculty, just to kind of do that. Um, so if you guys think that's a good idea, maybe put a thumbs up react on Zoom. Okay, well, let, we'll let you, I see one thumbs up, okay. All right, cool, we got a thumbs up. The thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> We'll have one and hey, you know, it, it's it's a two, maybe a, a, a somewhat. Yeah, I know it's, it's hard to, to check your schedules right now, especially with COVID and you don't quite know what the arrangements are going to be. So we might, you know, John might just have one and it's, I think the best thing to do is try. And so we have something and maybe it works well or maybe we find another format, but I think that's the, probably the best approach, but we just kind of want it. Sometimes just people know what they want and sometimes we're finding our way and that's fine too. It's all good, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, with, it's gotta be kind of flexible with how things are going right now. Being remote, a lot of chapters kind of starting up from a place of uncertainty. So I'll be sure to figure out some ideas with you all. You all are free to email me. Um, yeah, as the semester goes, it's definitely a time where not everything is certain, but I'm always open and happy to share ideas with you when that comes up. Great. All right. Well, I'm looking at the time and want to respect everyone's time. Uh, so if there aren't any questions right now, uh, I think we'll, we'll just uh, end our meet and greet. And again, thank you very much for for attending on a Friday and uh, we're happy. We're happy to see you. We're happy that you are part of um, STC and 
you know, you're taking the plunge, that's great. I think that's the best way to do it. And some of you are further along with SDC and some of you are just beginning. And so on behalf of Erin, who's always available, you can ask her for membership community. John, who's going to be your um, main contact. He's got a lot of good ideas. And um, of course, Craig for faculty advisors and myself for the CAC, we're all here to help you. And you all uh, have a great semester and um, stay, stay healthy, <laughs> stay strong. And uh, thanks again and we'll see everybody. Any final words from Aaron, John or Craig before we go? Yeah. I just think it was great to see you all and great to hear from you all coming from different places, different experiences. Uh, it's going to be an exciting time. And of course, I'm happy to get to know you all more and connect with all of you too. Uh, yeah, thanks everybody for coming. It was great to see everyone. I'd like to say it's wonderful to meet all of you all as well. I'm so excited to be working with you over this next year. Um, just a little bit of business. I know that I, it's we're in community budget season and I, as we had mentioned earlier, not everybody sends in a budget. Um, and that's okay if you don't get funding from STC. But if anybody is looking to get funding from STC, the deadline for the budget is today. Um, and I sent them out, so I might've had a wrong contact. So do let me know if that is a point of, of issue with you, that's something you wanted to um, talk to me about just to explore that because we can offer an extension and you guys can work on that if that's something your school is interested in doing. So I just don't want to, um, if we sent it to the wrong place or the wrong contact or um, you're making other decisions, just know that that conversation can still be open. That's a good point. Okay. And and Craig, do you, do you have any words before we sign off? No, just thanks to everyone for coming and keep in touch. Let us know if you have any questions or if we can help help you out in any way. Yes. Thank you. Have a good weekend. And bye. Have a good weekend, everyone. Happy Halloween. Thank you. <laughs> have a good weekend. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> I have a guest. <laughs> Bye. 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 All right. Good night, everyone.